Hello guys, welcome back to another edition of Beyond the Horrors Ball. Got the headbanger here. What is up? Once I'm back. again. Yeah. You're in town for you took a trip to Chicago, right? Days I was, you know, doing some business deals out in the Midwest and um, you know, sex. Drugs, drugs and rock and roll. No rock and roll, just sex and drugs. Oh, only, only oh, business. Oh, just only business. business. So I was in the area. I was outside wandering around. You, you saw me out there. And Come on in, let's do a video. Like right? usual, it's just completely, you know. Yeah. Not planned at all. So. <laughs> and we do have a drink here tonight from uh, Three Floyd's Brewery. This is Blackbeard. Check out that awesome cover. Great Rich, brewery. I was there today. Richard out there, heavy metal rule. I'm sure you're gonna really love that that cover there. That that nice artwork. Don't do that, cause now he's gonna be mad that he. Well, he can't yeah, have it, but so. yeah. I mean, See, I'm Richard, not... look at the beer that you will never have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we're gonna taste it for you. I mean, yeah. to, Drink yeah. it through us. <laughs> I, I'm sure he's somebody that would really appreciate that. So yeah, if yeah, you're ever in the too, right? the monster. What a cool name, isn't it? Yeah, and it's spelled like the Monster. Yeah, Monsters. it's spelled like that. Monster, Indiana, uh, Three Floyds Brewery, awesome place. Um, they have a restaurant there, amazing. I had octopus today. Yeah, what else did you have? You had um, octopus. Duck. Man. Damn, what a... Wow, you are just like going across the board. He's an eclectic guy. <laughs> you look at, he looks all shocked. Like I, I usually just have bur I'm a burger potato guy, have which you ever, I am. But. Have you ever ate alligator? I have. I've had yes. alligator too. Yes. Nice. Now, see, I haven't tried octopus though. I don't know. I'm trying to get us leveled out here. It tastes without, like tuna. Without spilling. But anyway, awesome beer. If anyone out there has any zombie dust that you'd want to send me, that'd be great. Yeah, and you had your heart broke today, right? I did. By our by our, uh, our beer store here, just selling out of it today. There you yeah, go. That's, that's your it. black beard. Black beard. With the nice metal artwork. I've never had this. He's never had this. Yeah, I haven't. First time. Charles Charles to Blackbeard. Charles to all of you. Whew. A lot of flavor. It's a man's beer, right? Yeah, now. it is. So we're, you know, press This is for fitting, time. right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it we're is. Grab some man's beer. Let's have some man's whore. Yes, exactly. Not to say that chicks can't watch this stuff. <laughs> and there are a lot that do. No question. So today what we are gonna talk about is Toe Tag Pictures filmography. We're going to go from the beginning to the end. We're going to blaze through these because, you know, with my uh, cheap-ass way of uploading videos here, I can only do 15 minutes at a time. Although I have more time than that on YouTube, but my way of doing it and uploading it You don't it have sucks. to explain to them, Jason. Exactly. Just, just, I, just do it. You right? have no reason to explain it. Well, anything. you know, I like doing long videos, and we like doing long-winded videos, but... We're going to condense this into 15 minutes. So we've got about 12 minutes to go, so we're going to have to blaze through these. This is not good. Yeah, it's not. So, maybe two parts? We can it's do it. possible. We can do it. All right, Focus. so first up, August Underground, the first film from Toe Tag Pictures. Tell me quickly, Headbanger, what was your first experience with this film? Is this the first thing you saw from Toe Tag? It was. Me too. It was. Um, I think it should be the first thing you see. It should. I, you know what I mean? Yes, absolutely like, should um, be. It's one of the. It's one of those things. At the time, I obviously saw it a long time ago, so it wasn't quite as big as it would later get. But it was still not like it was talked about. You know, I knew yeah. what it was. There was hype at the time, and uh, it lived up to it. Um, it was definitely one of those films that stayed with you long after. You know, they yeah. saw it with twenty six. Oh, um, yeah, it just. I might say I was blown away by it, but it was st for an indie film, it left a big impression yeah. for an indie horror film on me, and I fell in love yeah. right away with Fred and uh, you know the you know all the things, the effects. This is a tournament too. It really did feel real to me. It really did. You know, my first experience, the very first Horror Hound Weekend, two thousand seven. You know, I'd always heard about Toe Tag. I heard about August Underground. I'm hearing little rumblings about it. Really wanted to check it out. Me and Crazy both blind bought all three all three films just on you know the little we'd heard. And actually after the first night of Horror Hound Weekend, July of two thousand seven, we went home and watched this film and we both sit there with mouth agape like what the fuck? Like it really like it did blow me away. It's a mouth it, I, I had really you know, I'm ne I've never been real big into the extreme films. And, like, watching this, like, wow, man, you know, 
It's pretty amazing. You know, I just, it, it gave me, it, it, it cemented me as a fan and just gave me so much respect for them that they could shock me like that. Like, I just could not believe, like, what I was seeing, and it seemed so realistic. Like, to me, I that night I said, this is, like, the most realistic depiction of murder that I've seen, and that's, what, that's how I've always described these films, because to me it really is. I mean, it just, it comes off as so realistic. I think that's the key with that, is that it wasn't the idea that blew me away. Yeah. It was the execution. Yeah. That to me is what set the just set that obviously that wasn't the first you know there was the guinea pig the Asian yeah. stuff that kind of did stuff like that there was obviously a lot of other snuff and the cannibal holocaust yeah there was like everything. snuff films that did this stuff that was supposed to be like real authentic but to me if this the way it was the video quality and the way they executed it is what set it apart to me on a level that was higher and on such a indie yeah indie and plan. and that and that's how it was groundbreaking for this time and and, and that's why toe tag is you know, built a whole entire fan base off of this August Underground trilogy, you know, I mean, because it's it's something that when you see, you're like, damn, you know, it clicks and you don't forget it, you know, and that that's saying something, that's hard to do. Yep. It no really question. is. I mean, even like films that I see that's really great, there's some that I forget, oh yeah, I remember that, that was really good, but this is a film when you see it, you're damn sure going to remember it. And there are shocking <laughs> films that shock you, but you forget them. Yeah, you know, yeah, this but this one, it really, this stands out. So next up, they put out August Underground's Mortem, which is the sequel, of course, and a more extreme version. And it just made me laugh. And I don't yeah. mean, like, in a bad way, but yeah. they just took it to such a it new goes, level. Man. Like yeah, a devilish yeah. laugh. You know, I was just like, yeah. wow. You know what I mean? Like, it was like... Uh, yeah, it, it, I mean, it, it just, you know, and I know Krusty and Killjoy had the majority of the reins of this film, apparently, you know, from what I hear. And it is a much more extreme version. A lot of people say that this is the most extreme out of three, and, you know, I, I would say so too. But sometimes it kind of, like, to me... Depends what way, I don't know, you view this. It kind of goes so much, and it's so unrelenting. At times it kind of gets to a point where it's almost like, it almost gets kind of cartoonish I because it's that. so much... And it doesn't ever let up and give you a chance to breathe. It just kind of becomes overload where you almost shut down, I think. Exactly. That's why I said with the laughing. Yeah. It gets to a point where it's just kind of like, you know what I mean? I mean, it, it's no doubt the most extreme out of the three as far as just like a visceral onslaught. Right. Yeah. You know? Um, but, I mean, great film. It's not one that I can watch very often at all. I, I think, think this, any of these are films that you just oh, kind of no, like, I'm, you in a, I'm in an no. August Underground movie. Yeah, I'm in a great <laughs> movie, man. Let's watch August Underground, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then, I mean, but that's a testament to how you know powerful exactly. they are, though, too, that they can hold that weight. For sure, you know. So yeah, effects, dude. Yeah. Oh man, amazing effects. This is the first one uh, Jeremy Cruz was on, I believe. Yeah. The when first I think one. that movie, I think effects. Yeah. Oh shit, man! Especially that end sequence. All I have to say, the end sequence in the bathroom was just like I can't watch it. I just can't. I, I can't do it, man. It just. My whole frame of mind is awesome. kind of, it's just, fuck, it's fantastic. Man. Yeah, with, with Maggot, Krusty, and we'll leave it at that. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about if you've seen it. So, next up became came their highest uh, production film so far. Uh, I believe this film had right around a $100,000 budget, I believe. I think it was. Did um, it, Yeah, know. yeah, and that is The Red Sin Tower. Love this movie. Yes, um... Very cinematic film, very much different from the August Underground films. This is where Toe Tag really started to show that there's more than just the the, the, the faux snuff, you know. I think like a statement movie. Yeah. Like call, you know what I mean? It's a great Halloween film. It is. Yeah, it is. I mean, it, you know, it starts right off, hot chick, naked in a bathtub. It's like, all right, we're hitting, we're hitting stride here, right? <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, this, this film is just... I love it. It's fantastic. If you, if you saw film, this first and yeah. then like went to the backwards, that would definitely <laughs> mess you up. Yeah. yeah. And, and if you and if you didn't know mm. and saw August Underground seeing this, you would never think the same company made both yeah. films because they're so different. But that's what I love about Toe Tag. It's one of the things I love about them is they, you know, this does have some pretty hardcore and it gets pretty graphic at times, but... You know, th there's a nice diversity between this and this film was necessary, though. Mm -hmm. You know, for them, you know, as a yeah. fan, I think 
I would maybe consider this the most important film yeah. of Totex history. You know, I mean, this, they needed to do something like this. Yeah. You know, I assume just from their perspective creatively. Yeah. We needed, and not only did they need to do it, but I think they pulled off really good film. Much it wasn't more. just, we need to do something different and they end up making a lame film. This is a great film. Yeah. And a departure from. And it show it's much more story driven too, you know, of course. The narrative is obviously yeah, exactly. different. Yeah, exactly. Stand, more standard. Yeah, great, great movie. So, next up, after Red Sun Tower, came the third and final film in the August Underground Trilogy. They had to finish things up. Yes, and this is Penance. And this actually, yeah, this actually came out, like, right after I, right before I met them for the first time. And it it closes out the trilogy, and I think it's a good closure to the trilogy. I agree. And, and, you know, it's an ambiguous ending that kind of leaves you guessing, like, what exactly happened. Like, you can kind of tell what happens, but at the same time, it leaves you guessing. You know. It's probably, honestly, it's my favorite, I think, of the three. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you kind of have your heart, because I'm the first one. It's yeah. the first one I've seen, so that's obviously, like, sentimental. But I think this is probably my favorite of the three. And the effects, man, yeah. especially the basement scene when they're gutting the person and trying to, like, dispose of the body. No one does a basement like Caltech. Oh, man. It's like a, it's you know what a, I mean? a complete descent. Yeah, but all the movie, I mean, basements in their yeah. movies are just, like... The way basements should be. Yeah. I, Back I th- to House by the Cemetery, you know. A yeah. basement in a horror oh, movie should Jesus. be. And I think Toe Tag. That's to a say good, there was any, good comparison. Not to there, say there was yeah. any, obviously, you know, on purpose or in, you know, it's not Yeah, a, not, not, a, not a connection, no. but there but is you know a what I mean? connection like, where it's basements like. Basements in horror movies should be awesome, and I think it's Toe a Tag. Hell. It's, a, it's, it's a lower mm. part portion of, you know. And I think we should continue to talk about... Well, I think, you know, we're running at 12 minutes. We can't condense these next three into 12 minutes. So let's do this in two parts. We'll just continue to talk about these for a little bit more. We'll just do this in two parts. Why not? Because I don't want to just watch these last three. People love watching us talk about movies anyway. Yeah, I mean, why not, you know? If they don't, we just keep doing them anyway. Yeah, and we'll just keep drinking and keep talking even more. (laughs) But yeah, Penance, I mean, definitely the best effects of the three. Would you agree with that? Which says something. It does, because the first two, that's not taken away from them yeah. at all. I, mean, I would say, I, to me, all around, considering I think it's my favorite of the three. Yeah. And definitely I, the effects are... For me, it's the first, and it's not because it's the first I've seen. I just... I think it's, there's something about that one that just... It, it's just so unhinged. And maybe it does come from just not knowing anything about it. You know, I don't know, but I think that this is the most well-made out of the three. As far as, like, effects... I mean, it's still made with no budget. From a it's technical still, perspective. Yeah, it's still, like, the effects in this is where Cruz really showed that he is somebody to be reckoned with, I think. Well, actually, Red Sin Tower, because, I man, some of the effects in that, some of the head oh. the head crushing scenes, some of the shit in that, that is great. just amazing. Yeah. You know, with Becky, I think that's her name in that, Becky, yeah. It's been a while since I've watched that. So, yeah, this penance, I mean... A great closer to the trilogy. I'm glad that they've just left it at that and haven't continued on because they easily could. Oh, yeah. I mean, it could easily do another August Underground and just it would just blow up. But I don't think that's what Toe Tag's about. Hopefully, know? someone remakes it. <laughs> yeah, a big budget Hollywood remake. Oh God, did we say that? I'm kidding. I say that. Kidding. They know I'm kidding. CGI. I kid. You know, yeah. All CGI fetuses. CGI. Oh nipples. yeah. Yeah. CGI gut fucking. Gut fucking. Yeah. I mean, it had to be CG. CG. GF. <laughs> no, CGI. GF. <laughs> Thank God it's gut fucking fun. <laughs> there you go. So, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. We're going to do a part two, and we're going to talk about the next three films that they have put out. I just didn't want to condense it all in just a couple minutes. There's just so much to talk Why about rush? in these next films. Yeah. Why rush? Yeah. It's 2013. Yeah, we're, we're drinking more beer, and we're just having a good time, and we hope you guys are enjoying watching these. So we'll be right back with the next video. Take care, guys. Later.